Arcade Heroes. The newest racing game found at IAPA 2015 was MotoGP by Play Mechanics and Raw Thrills. And so they had 12 of these spread across the show floor. The game supports 8 local or online players in a match. Uh, there's 10 tracks from around the world, licensed MotoGP tracks, and of course official MotoGP teams. Uh, this is all based on the 2014 roster. Uh, the game has a few hardware features. The camera is one. There's a wind effect, so as you uh, cruise along the tracks, you feel a breeze in your face. Uh, and then, of course, uh, the online play is probably one of the bigger ones that they were touting, such as you see here. This is a waiting screen for it, looking for players. Uh, the controller is very detailed. Um, the wheel on the back is very nice, kind of like road burners from the all the Atari games and the pin pads on the bike itself. Uh, right there was a match, uh, an online match completely filled. And so it was kind of cool where they had the games at the Raw Thrills booth, there was some at uh, Bandai Namco Europe booth, there was a few at the Unis booth, so you're able to compete with people. Almost like how it's going to be at the arcade with uh, connecting to different locations. And so, as you can see here, the game does run a bit smoother than what was shown in the official trailer. Um, that one could be chalked up to the capture card. Um, there are three difficulties that adjust the AI as well as the physics. And it does take into account road friction, the suspension of the bikes, uh, all sorts of things. And of course, the higher the difficulty, the more realistic that gets. Uh, what you see here is novice. And the bike controllers, as far as how they feel, very similar to Superbikes or Superbikes 2 uh, or any another, other number of motorbike games. And I was talking with George Petro, the president of Play Mechanics, and he was telling me how he really loved Daytona USA back in the day and that they wanted to get a similar feel to that with uh, the competition between drivers on the road. And so that's kind of what you see there with uh, crashing bikes and things of that nature going out of control. And for my part, I'm not terribly good at uh, motorbike games, but I was able to get a decent feel for this one. Overall, with closed circuit courses, which is something a little unusual for uh, raw thrills, most of their games are open world type, like Batman was definitely open world, but a lot of their other racing games have generally been more cruising USA style with go to point A to point B and then you have different shortcuts to find along the way. MotoGP it's trying to be more realistic in that regard as opposed to more like a theme park type race. Um, and so it, and it shows with all the touches they put into it. So this game, when well, they were taking orders for it at IAPA and so by the time you'll start seeing this out there probably sometime through December 2015 uh, most likely January February 2016 but uh, that's a look at the new MotoGP again by Play Mechanics and Raw Thrills they also have different color cabinets that uh, operators can purchase they're also showing off the final release model of Jurassic Park Arcade with the motion system it uses an air bladder motion system as discussed in the past it was last year where they first showed off the Jurassic Park Arcade but it was in a much different cabinet for the motion version otherwise the game plays the same just looks nicer that's Raw Thrills at IAPA 2015 thanks for watching and we'll catch you at other videos